All right, so we've made it to the last question of paper two in the South African 2018 November CAP syllabus mathematics metric paper. And this is paper two, question 10, the last question. And it's another question on ge uh, Euclidean geometry. So let's get into it. So we see in the diagram, ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral, as you can see, such that AC is perpendicular to CB. We can see that in the picture. DC and CB are equal. We see that as well. AD is produced to M, we can see that, and AM and MC are also perpendicular. Angle B is X. Okay, so everything we need to know is drawn in the picture. So question 10.1.1. We need to prove that MC is a tangent to the circle at C. All right, so what do we need to do here? So if we have some circle, and we've got a tangent to the circle, and inside that circle then from this point where the tangent touches, we've got some triangle. So if we've got some triangle, then we know that this angle here is equal to that angle there, right? So that's the idea we want to show. Now let's just draw it slightly different because we want to use this triangle in our question. So let me just draw a triangle that looks a little bit more like that, something like that. Okay, so now we want to show that this angle is equal to that angle, right? So that is the idea. That's what we want to show. So let me move this to the side and see if we can figure that out. All right. So in essence, on this picture, then we need to show that this angle is equal to that angle. Then we have the tangent chord statement. So this is the tangent, tangent chord theorem. So that's going to be our reasoning. All right. So let's see how we can show these two angles are the same. So we can start off by saying that these two angles are the same, right? And those two are the same, why? Because they're both subtended by an arc that's the same length. So let's say angle two equals angle one, and both of them are equal to what? Both of them are equal to what? Well, it doesn't, I suppose it doesn't really matter, but let's say they're both equal to 90 minus X because of angles in a triangle. So let's just write down they're both equal to 90 minus X, right? Because 180 minus 90 is 90, minus x will give us that, and these two are equal. And the reason they are equal is equal chords, equal chords, subtend equal angles. Subtend equal angles. Okay, so we've got A2 equals A1. Alright, now, what else do we need? We eventually want to prove that this side, this is the same angle as well. Okay, well, we can show what this angle is. Right, so if, let's just see the process of getting there. So angle D2 is also X. Let me just write that down to start. Angle D2 is also X degrees. Why? So our reason will be, let's see what our reason will be. So we know this is a cyclic quadrilateral. So if this angle is X, then the opposite side here is 180 minus X. 180 minus X. And then this on a straight line, 180 minus 180 minus X will give us X, right? And we can combine all of this information into a single rule or a single theorem that says the exterior angle is equal to the opposite interior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral. We're just going to say exterior angle of cyclic quadrilateral. Of a cyclic quadrilateral. Okay, so D2 is X. Now in this triangle here, can we find C2? Yes, we can, because we know that's x. So then this is 90. 180 minus 90 is 90. And this angle would then be 90 minus x. So C2, C2 equals 90 minus x. Right? And that would be because of the sum of angles in a triangle. Sum of angles in a triangle add up to 180. That's why we can know this is 90 minus x. So we know C2 is 90 minus x. A1 is 90 minus x. So let's say C2 equals A1, and we've proven that, right? So let's say, let's actually say therefore, C2 is equal to A1, and that means that, uh, that what do we want to prove? MC, MC is a tangent, MC is a tangent. The reason is because of this, this theorem, right? If this angle equals that angle, so in this dark case, this angle equals that angle, then we've got a uh, tangent, because of the theorem that says the tangent chord. 
So we're just going to say it's the opposite. Usually we look for the tangent coordinate if they are the same. Well, if we know this is a tangent, then we know the tangent coordinate set will give us the same angle. So we're just going to do that in reverse. So we're going to say it's the converse, converse of the tangent chord theorem, of tangent, tangent chord theorem. All right, because we have the angles, and now we have to uh, say in reverse that that means this is a tangent. Usually we would have the tangent and then figure out the angles using the tangent chord theorem, just doing it in reverse. So we're just going to say this is the converse of the tangent chord theorem. All right, so that's the idea. And then we move on to question 10.1.2. 10.1.2. All right, so now we have to prove that triangle ACB, okay, so triangle ACB is similar to triangle CMD. To triangle CMD. Okay, so for similarity, if we know all the angles are the same, so in this case, if angle A equals angle C, angle C equals angle M, and angle B equals angle D there, then they'll be similar. Let's see if we can do that. So ACB, ACB, right? So obviously, we can see angle ACB is the same as angle A, uh, DMC, right? So let's write that. So ACB equals angle DMC, DMC, DMC. And what is our reason? Well, that's given, right? They're both equal to 90, we put equal to 90, and that's given. We see that in the picture. Now, okay, so we've done this angle. Now, we can see this, is ang this angle is x, this angle is also x. We proved that in the previous question, right? So angle ABC, angle ABC, equals angle CDM, angle CDM, CDM. They're all both equal to X, and our reason is we've proved that in the previous question, so it's proven. And now if both of those are the same, then obviously the third angle will also be the same, right? So we've done these two. Now obviously this one will be equal to this one because angles in the triangle add up to 180. So that's fine, so the third one is also the same. So we can say therefore, Angle ACB or triangle ACB is similar to triangle CMD. CMD, and <coughs> our reason was we proved all the angles. So angle, angle, angle. Right. So we found all three angles are the same, and that's our reasoning. Great. Now next question, ten point two. So ten point two point one. Ten point two point one. We need to prove. Hence or otherwise. So hence means we can use whatever what we got in the previous example or the previous question to prove the next question. Because so we need to prove this. Huh? Cm squared equals Am over Ab. Right? Cm squared over Dc squared equals Am over Ab. So let's see if we can find Cm squared. So Cm, Cm in this in this triangle, Cm is equal to AC. Well, let's let's use this triangle that we got here. So we know. Uh, AC over CM. I'm just going to do the other way around. Say CM over AC is equal to, and then what else can we say? Uh, CM, we can use uh, CB and MD. So equals MD, MD over BC or CB, and it's also equal to AB over CD or CD. Oops, CD over AB, AB. Okay, so we know that so far. But we want CM squared. So how do we get, how do we get that? How do we get CM squared? At the moment we know this, but there's only one CM. If we can get another CM somewhere, that could be quite useful. That could be very useful. Uh, so CM, yeah, we don't see another line that's the same length as this, right? Okay. What about uh, DC? What about DC? So we've got this DC here. Let's get rid of the middle one here. I think that's not going to be the most useful part. We're more interested in these two. In these two. All right. Okay. What do we know about DC? Well, DC is the same as CB. DC is the same as CB. Uh, where was CB? 
a CB, CB and MD. Uh, let's just write that. Maybe I've maybe I missed something here. Uh, let's just say CB. So CB over or the other way around. That goes to the bottom. CB and CB was with MD. MD. Okay. So CB. We could actually use CB. The CB is the same as DC. Where is DC? Oh, there is DC. Okay. So this one we can say is the same as DC, right? So we can say that one is also DC. So let's say if we rewrite this as MD over DC, over DC. And now this one stays CD or DC over AB. Now we've got DC squared, right? So we can ignore that one in this case and say, well, CD times CD, we can just cross multiply. So DC squared equals MD times AB. MD times AB, AB. Okay, so we've got the DC squared part so far. Okay, so that's that's a good start. Now we need some CM squared. So let's see, we need probably wanna find another similar triangle here. So I think we can do AMC and CMD. AMC and CMD, triangle AMC and triangle, that's not another triangle, triangle CMD, CMD. Okay, let's see if we can show that these two are similar. Okay, so AMC, this angle is 90 degrees, and in CMD, this is also 90 degrees. So we can say angle M is equal to angle M. Angle M equals angle M, because that's common. Right? They're both equal to 90 degrees, so they are common. Both triangles have that same angle, so that is common. Right, now we need one more angle. If we can solve one more angle, then we can know the third one is also the same. So we've said angle C2 is ang equal to angle A1, right? So angle C, so C2 equals A1. So that's this C and that A. They are also equal. They're also equal. And we've shown that. We've proven that in the first question. So that's proven. So therefore, the third angle is also the same. So we can just say the third angle would be this angle C and that angle D. Right, so AMC, AMC, so this big angle C, C1 plus C2, C1 plus C2, that angle is equal to this angle D. That angle D has the name MDC or CDM. MDC or CDM, let's do CDM. Both of them are equal to X. And the reason, well, it doesn't matter what they... What, the, what, what it is actually equal to, the reason is sum of angles in a triangle. Sum of angles in a triangle. Right, so we've proven that these two triangles are similar. Let's just write that down. Triangle AMC is similar to triangle CMD. And our reason for that was again, angle, angle, angle. Okay, so now we have this. We can again say, that over that, so AM over CM is equal to MC, MC or CM, this, uh, no, MC is fine, over MD, MD. Okay, now we can cross multiply again. So MC times MC is MC squared or CM squared, and then AM times MD, AM times MD. Okay. So we've got a DC squared, we've got a CM squared. What do we want to do? We want CM squared over DC squared. So we want to have this one over that one. So let's do that. So if we put CM squared over DC squared, then what is CM squared? That's AM times MD. And DC squared is MD times AB. So AB times MD. And these can cancel, and then CM squared over DFC squared is equal to AM over AB. AM over AB. All right, so that's quite a messy one. We needed to do quite a few things here, but often when you want to look for something like this, we, want, we know that similar triangles, we can write some nice ratios. 
So you want to look for similar triangles that can give, give you these values, the C, M, D, C, A, M, A, B. So you look for these, these letters and see which triangles you can form from them and see if they're similar, then you can use this idea. And eventually you just want to cross multiply until you get something that works out here. All right. And yeah, let me know if you found a quicker way to do it. You probably did. I found I took quite a long time to, to get to the right answer here. But hopefully it was useful to see that we can just find similar triangles and then use their ratios to solve something like this. And another one, another thing we also looked at was to see that C, B and D, C are equal in length. So we could substitute the one for the other. That's also some place where some people might get stuck somewhere and not thinking about that. All right. And then our final question, 10.2. 2.2. I think this 10.2.1 was probably the most difficult. It's also six marks. So I suppose it's expected that we do quite a few calculations. Okay, this last one, that doesn't look too bad. Uh, okay, we already proved or saw that AM over AB. Let's just write that out again. So AM over AB, oops, AB equals CM squared over DC squared. Okay, so we need to we know that cm squared over dc squared is sine, has to be sine squared x. So this is what we're looking for. Now cm squared, let me actually draw this in. So this squared plus or over this squared, right, needs to be sine squared of x. And hopefully you guys already saw it. It's going to be pretty easy. We know this angle is x, right? Already proven that in the first question. So what is sine of x? So we can say sine of x, of angle x, equals opposite over hypotenuse. So equals mc over dc. mc over dc. And now we just square both sides. So sine squared x equals this thing squared. So mc squared over dc squared. Done. Nice little easy question to finish up with. All right, so we saw there were actually quite a lot of Euclidean geometry questions here in paper two. So I would suggest you learn your theorems and practice a lot of these questions just to get used to seeing the theorems that you already know. All right, so that is it for question two, I mean paper two. And then I'll see you again for next paper.